This video is a quick tutorial on how to use the UWM Scholarship Portal to apply for various scholarships and awards at UWM. There are a number of ways to reach the portal. The direct link is uwm.academicworks.com or you can visit the main UWM Scholarship webpage at uwm.edu forward slash scholarships and the first button will take you to the portal or you can Google UWM Scholarship Portal to find the link. Letters and Science students who are having trouble with the portal or who have questions can email let-sci at uwm.edu. Once you reach the portal, the login screen will look like this, and you will log in using your normal UWM username and password. I've gone ahead and logged in as our sample student named Pause Panther. The first thing you will see is your general application. If you filled this out previously, for example last year, your answers do carry over and you just need to go in and update and edit things. At a minimum, you must do this once per year and re-sign the application. We do recommend, however, you do this twice per year to ensure your file is up to date. So we'll go through some of the questions that are asked on this general application and important pieces you should be sure to fill out. There are only a very few required questions, but it is to your advantage to fill this out as completely as possible, as all of the information you submit will be used to match you with scholarships that you might qualify for. So the first section is going to be extracurriculars. You could fill out some things there. Following that is going to be uh, work experience. Um, if you are engaged in on-campus work, on-campus research, part-time jobs, internships, it will be important to fill this out completely. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out some quick information here. Following the work experience section, you have a space to enter some of your honors and achievements, as well as your hobbies. And then we get to two required questions about your veteran status. Following the veteran section, you can continue to scroll down and there will be a space for you to enter uh, why you chose UWM. If you are not a new freshman, this is not uh, essential that you enter that, but the following section is. It is very important you thoroughly describe your academic and career goals as that information is used to match you often with scholarships that have specific criteria. For purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep scrolling here. Uh, following the career goals section, there are some other short essay questions. None of these are required. Again, it is to your advantage to be as thorough as possible though. As we near the end of the general application, there is one required essay on why you are seeking financial assistance and then information about your FAFSA status. And the final required question asks you about other outside scholarships or awards you might have received. Then you need to sign the document and hit finish and submit. So I've gone ahead and filled in those fields and I'm going to go ahead and hit finish and submit. Based on your answers, the computer has now matched you to things that you might qualify for and is encouraging you to apply for those. What you are going to see here on the recommended opportunities screen are scholarships that require more information beyond the general application. And you can see that you can hit the apply button to go ahead and supply that additional information. What you will not see here are scholarships that are considered auto matches. What this means is that behind the scenes, the information that you entered on your application is being used to match you to scholarships that you qualify for. There's nothing further you need to do to apply for those. You would simply be notified if you are selected. If you are a student in the College of Letters and Science, you are also going to see here the College of Letters and Science application. This consists of just one item, which is uploading a copy of your most recent transcript. In this particular example, 
our pause panther sample file is not connected to letters in science so we do not see that link here but when you do see that link click on it and it will have specific instructions on how to upload a pdf copy of your uwm unofficial transcript when creating your transcript from your pause record be sure to save it without using any capital letters or special symbols or spaces in the file name. For example, a good file name would simply be transcript, all small letters, .pdf. A file name that might cause you some technical problems would be something like John, space, capital T, transcript, .pdf. If you need instructions on how to download an unofficial copy of your transcript from PAUSE, visit the UWM One Stop webpage which is uwm.edu forward slash one stop. Across the top menu bar, you will see a choice to select your student record. And when you select that, you will see some links below, whether you are a graduate student or an undergraduate student. And if you click that, there will be specific instructions on how to log into your PAUSE account and where to look in PAUSE to get your downloaded file. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to help you find scholarships and awards at UWM that can help fund your education. Questions again can be directed to let-sci at uwm.edu.